ultra religious will preach to you and say, God's going to make a way or God's got a word for you. The Lord's going to make a way. Tomorrow's going to be better for you. And I'm sitting here thinking, you know, as I've matured, as I've gotten more wise and been in my business and, and just, you know, becoming a better and more spiritually inclined person, you can't just rest on those lofty goals. You got to take some damn action. You got to do something. You know, don't just tell your family member or your friend, I'm praying for you, girl. And then you leave them alone and you over there praying. And really all they needed was to for you to give them a call and talk to them or for you to take them out to eat and actually spend time with them. Sometimes we say these lofty words and we have these lofty goals because we don't know how to put action behind them. Action is the key to being a self-care boss. When you're dealing with your health and wellness and the health and wellness of the people in your circle, you have to take action. You can't just say, oh, I can't work out because I want to join a gym. No, work around, walk around your damn house. That's all you got to do. You got a house. You got some cans in your cabinet. Lift the cans. Use those cans as weight. Stop just speaking about, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to do that tomorrow or, oh, someday is going to come going up yonder when we all get, when we all see Jesus, all this talk. Yeah, it's good to make those plans and promises for tomorrow, but you need to take some action today. Take some action today towards your health and wellness. I can tell you some of the actions that I have taken this year. My theme is finance to freedom. And one of the things I was struggling with was eating out. So I reduced my budget. I went out and bought uh, discounted coupons to some of my favorite places like Panera Bread. And it has been working tremendously for me because I put some steps into action. Plus, along with that, we started a finance accountability club. We we just didn't sit around talking about it. Oh, we want to do better with our finances and we want to save more and we want to invest more and we want to give to other businesses and we want to help other people. And no, we just did it. Just do it. A lot of things, it, it's you preventing yourself from being a self-care boss. It's you preventing yourself from being where you really want to be. Ain't nobody holding no gun to your head telling you that you can't do these things, that you can't start your business while you're working your full-time job, that you can't go to massage school while you're working your full-time job. Hello, I'm talking about myself. That's what I did. I was working, I think the hours were 8 to 5, and then from 6 p.m. until 10 p.m., I went to massage school. I did that for a year and a half. Meanwhile, I was also recording an album in the group that I was in. Stop saying you can't achieve these lofty goals. It's a lot of times you're making them so high in the sky and it's all about the Lord is going to come and bless me and save me tomorrow. I can't wait till he comes. No, why don't you wait till yourself comes? You are the one standing in between you and claiming this glory. Do something small today. Take some action today. Don't wait till you got the $20 million in the bank or the 32 um, employees. Do it now. Make your plans today. That's what I did when I first started my business. Yes, I had lofty goals. I wrote down my organizational chart. I still have it. It is it's still there. I made the plans for everything. I wrote down procedures. I made an employee handbook without even having any employees. You got to do the basic things before you get to these lofty goals. You want to get a massage? I help entrepreneurs and musicians. And this is why, because I give I give tips like this to you when you come to your session. We don't just do massage. We talk about life, we talk about business, and we don't you want to get a massage from a person who understands and is not just there to rub on your body. They're there to give you some action and some tips and some some inspiration and some encouragement and they let you know that you're not in this world alone because you are clearly not in this world alone. Go to couturemassage.com, click on your 15-minute consultation. I will gladly serve you. 
right here in Tennessee or in Virginia when I'm there in Virginia. And also to add to that, I have written two eBooks. One of them is called Becoming a Self-Care Boss, 31 Days to Self-Discovery. The other is called Hi, bye, I'm too shy. It's all about uh, networking for introverts. Get that at couturemassage.com slash shop. Again, that is couturemassage.com slash shop. Those eBooks will be valuable for your life. And apply this message today. Stop thinking these goals are so lofty or only talking about these shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Tomorrow is a plan and God is going to bless you. Yeah, all that stuff is fine and dandy, but what you going to do after you leave the church? What you going to do after you hear the message? You got to put some stuff in action on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, Monday. You got to put some stuff in action on these days, not just sit around talking about the lofty goals all the time. Just do it. Until next time, make it a relaxing day. Bye.